Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is about the hostels and stuff around the hostels that people generally have questions about of VIT Chennai campus. I have also made two videos prior to this uh, and those videos were about an overview of the VIT Chennai campus and one video was about uh, the detailed uh, review of the mess, malls, markets around VIT Chennai. So if you haven't watched those videos, uh, please go and watch those videos as well. I will include the links in the description. Uh, so this video is uh, because like people I saw that they have many questions about the hostels and uh, even I had questions during my time. So I thought a video on this topic would be nice. So my introduction, I am Ankit and I currently work at ZS Associates Pune. Uh, I have done my B.Tech in Civil Engineering. I graduated in uh, June 2020. So with that, let's begin. So these are uh, the few basic questions that everybody seems to have. So how many hostels are there? So there are a total of three hostels and they are called A block, B block and C block. So this picture that you see right here, I have clicked this picture myself and this is the A block. This is also called senior men's hostel. So this is occupied fully by men. B block, uh, it is separated into two halves. One half is occupied by the girls and the second half is occupied by the first year boys. There is a proper concrete uh, separation between uh, those blocks. Uh, and then there is uh, the C block that is the newest hostel that is also a men's hostel. So the next question is how is the infrastructure? So infrastructure is a uh, pretty modern and maintained I would say. Uh, people ask me whether the hostels are old and give you a vibe of old uh, government quarters. So no uh, that is not the case with uh, VIT Chennai. Since the campus itself was built in 2010 and VIT really maintains its campus. So the hostels are all very modern. Also, in fact, the uh, C block, the hostel I talked about earlier, that was completed in 2018 or 19 only. So that is the newest of all these three buildings. So next is uh, where is the mess and where is the gym located in these hostels? So mess is on the ground floor on each of in each of these hostels. Uh, this right here where you can see my cursor. This is the mess area. Uh, there are different kinds of mess uh, like North Indian veg, North Indian South and then South Indian mess uh, again and then special mess. So all of these have uh, all of those have different designated areas in this ground floor. Now where is the gym? So gym is in the first floor in each of these buildings. Now badminton court and basketball court. So badminton court uh, is located inside this building and basketball court is right in front of this building. You cannot see it here in this picture but it is right in front of this building. Now lifts in the hostel. So many people ask me whether there are lifts in the hostel. So obviously this is a 15 floor buildings and so are the other two buildings as well. So there are lifts in the hostel around six or seven lifts. Now drinking water. So you do not really have to worry about the drinking water. Uh, there are uh, two water coolers established uh, on uh, like each of these 15 floors. So you can uh, like consume water from there. So uh, the next question is how are hostels allotted? So in the first year, uh, like right now, when you are going to take hostels, so you will be called based on your VIT EEE rank. So basically you can assume it that uh, it is being allotted on VIT EEE rank basis because the person who goes first will opt for the hostel type, hostel room type first. And similarly who goes in the last will have the choices that have been left for him. So that is for the first year. After first year what happens is uh, there is a hostel rank that is released and that is also based on your CGPA. So after first year you will get the rooms based on your CGPA. So who gets higher CGPA will have a higher uh, hostel rank and then he will get to opt first which type of room does he want to stay in. Then next question is should you take uh, AC rooms? So uh, weather in Chennai is uh, you all know it is very hot and uh, AC rooms are actually worth it. Uh, but then uh, there are AC timings that you should know. Uh, on weekdays, uh, the AC works from 6 p.m. till 6 a.m. On weekends though, they work throughout the day. Uh, like I preferred AC room uh, because uh, I felt that okay, even if the AC is not working from 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. in the day, but at least uh, in the night time I can have a peaceful sleep. And similarly on the weekends, uh, I can sleep for like 48 hours straight if the AC is working. So I took AC rooms. Uh, for me, it worked out good. I took AC rooms for all the four years. Uh, you can see how does it fit uh, into your budget and then you can decide for it. 
price difference uh, i think ac rooms and non ac rooms have a price difference of around 40000 rupees so that is definitely a thing to consider so of it you can take non ac room and see if that suits you or not uh, but if you take ac rooms uh, you wouldn't regret because uh, the weather in chennai that actually uh, demands you to have an ac room so that was about it now the next question is about the wifi so uh, people uh, have many misconceptions about the vit wifi i don't know why so uh, the speed is pretty good uh, like uh, i do not remember the exact numbers but i remember that uh, when i was in college uh, i used to play pubg and used to watch youtube netflix so i never faced any um, like any problems with the speed limit uh, so when i was in the first year uh, the limit of uh, usage wifi usage was 8 gb then it was increased to 20 gb and then when i was in my fourth year it was increased to 50 gb for everybody for all the students so 50 gb is the current uh, wifi limit that i can tell you about and then what all you can open so definitely you cannot open uh, obscene sites so vit has put a blocker on those sites uh, but then uh, you also have your own internet right so that shouldn't be a problem as such so let's move further so the next question is people are really like worried about the cleanliness so uh, i would say don't worry about the cleanliness because vit has as a staff clean the toilets uh, twice in a day like in the morning and then in the evening so that is taken care of and then about your rooms uh, your rooms are cleaned every day in the evening uh, the guy uh, the sweeper he comes and then he gets your sign after he cleans the room so at a uh, so there comes a point in your hostel life when you do not even care if your room is cleaned or not you just want that guy to not come and knock when you are sleeping in the evening but uh, his duty is to come and get a sign from you so he will not leave you he will definitely come and clean your room so that is about the cleanliness now toilets in hostels definitely they uh, like get dirty you cannot really do anything about it but about it uh, but vit does take care that it, uh, that it is uh, like cleaned to two times in a day now about uh, the hostel rooms so what all do you get in a room so this is a typical hostel room uh, so here there are no bunk beds uh, these are normal beds so you get these beds uh, and then you have this table uh, these chairs and also this uh, shelf and this cupboard here so these are the things that you get uh, and apart from this there is also a curtain in curtain in the room so apart from this there is nothing else in the room so what all do you need to purchase and where can you buy them so you will need a mattress pillow bed sheet a uh, bucket mug bottles uh, water bottles i mean jars and some other essential stuff uh, that you can uh, figure out yourself so where do you where can you buy these so you do not really need to bring them from your home uh, you can uh, buy them right in the college so when you arrive at the college in the first day you will find all these items uh, Uh, all um, like many vendors selling all these items uh, inside the campus so you can get these stuff easily now this photo uh, this is from my first year this is me and my roommate so uh, we were cleaning this room after a birthday celebration it is not like that we have to clean it uh, there are people who clean it but we uh, we were uh, we were we celebrated a birthday at like 12 in the night so we had to clean it ourselves so now the question is can you have fun in the hostels so the people who say that you cannot have fun in vit hostels so uh, i think they didn't really know how to have fun you can literally break almost all the rules and have all the fun that you want uh, but right now here we are not going to talk about breaking rules so uh, vit tries to uh, uh, like provide you with some activities i would say uh, through which you can entertain yourself like movies so every saturday uh, or every alternate saturday like if you demand from the hostel uh, administration they will try to set up a movie night uh, you can uh, like request them to play a particular movie so there is a huge projector screen uh, so there they project a particular movie and you can watch it uh, they can al- they also uh, project the ipl matches sometimes there and you can watch ipl matches as well uh, in the room we also used to play cricket because the rooms are i mean say uh, i can say large enough to to play cricket uh, and then Like we used to play one tip one hand, definitely not the ground style cricket. And then mobile and PC games. Uh, needless to say, you can play as much PUBG as you want, and as many uh, like FIFA matches you as you want. Uh, I remember there was a guy uh, after he got placed in the fourth year, he made around twenty thirty thousand rupees set up in his room uh, to play games. 
so yeah and there were some rumors that vit has banned pubg so there is nothing like that now a uh, hostel timings for boys and girls so like i will tell about the boys first so boys have to get inside the hostel uh, by 9 pm in the night so this is about the boys and girls on the other hand they have to get inside the hostels by 7 pm in the evening so this was about the timings also uh, for boys i know that in the first year they will be enforcing this uh, like this 9 pm timing very strictly but by the time you go to the senior men's hostel uh, then that 9 becomes 9.30 or even uh, like 9.45 sometimes. So, yep. Now, this is a photo of us watching IPL in VIT hostel. So, these TVs are present on every alternate floors. Uh, you can also watch this, these matches on the large projector screen outside. Now, uh, the next question is how is laundry and washing machines facilities at VIT? So uh, I remember that uh, the laundry service used to come three days in a week. You can give your clothes and they uh, will wash it and return it to you back in three days. They used to charge like, uh, I'm not very sure, but like 10 to 15 rupees per piece of cloth. Uh, then uh, during the first three years of my college life, there was no washing machine in the hostels. Uh, but in the fourth year, they installed washing machines. So in uh, like in one hostel, there were three washing machines uh, like in one go you can uh, uh, like you have to pay 100 rupees and then you can wash as many clothes as you can fit inside that washing machine and there was an app to track when the washing machine uh, is empty or when it is occupied so yep and apart from that you can definitely you will you will actually have to definitely wash some clothes yourself as well now vehicles so many people uh, were concerned about the vehicles uh, whether or not they are allowed in the PIT so hostelers uh, they cannot own vehicles uh, because there is no uh, like provision for them to keep their bikes or cars in the campus so they cannot really own vehicles if you really want to own then you will have to keep it uh, at your day scholar friends uh, place day scholars they can definitely own vehicles because that is what they will uh, use to commute and uh, day scholars also cannot really use the vehicles inside the campus they will have to park it at a place and that's it now uh, there is an option of renting uh, the vehicles cars or bikes anything that you want and this is present right outside the campus so my uh, thought on this is why buy when you can rent so there's no point in buying your own vehicle uh, like there were questions that whether electronic items are allowed in the hostels or not so definitely they are not allowed uh, but uh, like you can definitely keep them like this is a photo from my first year these are my friends and this is me and you can see that we are making maggie in this kettle so in the first year itself we had a kettle in the room and an iron in the room and by the end of second year we had an induction stove in the room and then we also had a sandwich maker in the room so we literally had everything in the room and we never faced any problem uh, we in fact planned to buy a washing machine in our, in our fourth year but then we thought Nahi jada ho jayega, so we dropped the idea so you can keep these items but you just have to be a little cautious now attendance at the hostels so yeah every day you will have to give biometrics attendance in the hostels so there is no way around it as such so you have to give your attendance every day in the evening so these are some other photos from the hostel so as you see yeah, as you can see this guy here how he is working so like are you lazy and sporty enough to study like this now uh, there is a question about a uh, mess timing so in the previous video about mess i think i missed this point so uh, in uh, for breakfast the mess is open from 7 uh, until 8 30 on weekdays but on weekends uh, since you will be sleeping late so the mess will be open from 7 30 till 9 9 or 9 30 i'm not very sure of this 9 or 9 30 something like that then uh, in the afternoon uh, the mess is open from 12 to 2 and then in the evening you get snacks and that in that time the mess is open from 5 to 6 30 and then you get dinner from 7 to 9 and after 9 there is night mess that you will have to pay for now this is another photo from the hostel uh, this is the night before the examination so probably like uh, 12 in the night and then we had an exam at 8 am in the morning so this is uh, like this this uh, could be the first time that many of us would be seeing our syllabus and there is one topper here uh, he is teaching us all these are some other photos so you must have seen many photos of the vit hostel from outside this is from the inside this is the badminton court that you can see here 
this is how a typical room looks. I really like this configuration because here the tables are all compact, the cupboard is all compact. So it kind of saves a uh, space. So here this, uh, you cannot really see in this picture, but there is a lot of space on this side. Now, uh, how do we celebrate at VIT Chennai? So we really celebrate Holi pretty well. You can see the photos here. Although this is from my first year, but this went on like this, on, like on, like this only till my fourth year. So that was all about this video. Uh, let me know if you have any more doubts. And if you want me to make uh, videos on any more topics, you can connect with me on Instagram and on Telegram. I will uh, attach the links below. If you have any more questions, you can definitely let me know there as well. Okay, thank you.